All right, what's going on guys? My name is Mungahill1, welcome you back to my channel, and it's always back here at Final Fantasy X. Last time we made our way through the Kilka Woods, fought yet another sin spawn, the Jino, I believe. Something like that. I don't remember how the heck you would say it, and there's no database for enemies. Anyway, after that we made our way here to the Kilka Temple, met up with uh, the summoner Donna. So was it the Kilika? Or not the Kilika, the Luka goers. And now we're heading into the Cloister of Trials. Do you know? See how I timed that? It was pretty solid, not gonna lie. Yes. Courage. Wisdom. Faith. You're not a summoner. Summoner? Shoot. Guardian. Should I totally spoiled something? Yep. Coming back up. It's going down. There you go. Where's Yuna? to go in, right? Hmm. Not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Well... Well, not the first time you've done this, buddy. So, uh, yeah. Also, how the heck could they possibly be so far ahead of me already? They just went down. I'm sure no guardian. Well, well I guess it's too late frankly, now. it's not too late now, because the lift goes back up, but, you know... Here we go. Cloister of Trials, number two. Okay, take this sphere. The Kilika sphere. So that's the gimmick of this one, is that when you place a Kilika sphere next to a door, it will burn the whatever is blocking up that door. I should think I can just afford to put the sphere right here and call it grid. But yeah, so it'll burn that door up. But then you have to take it back out in order to actually be able to progress through. Oh, I can move that. Okay. Good to know. Not sure if I'll need to know, but I now know. Hmm. Blitz sphere doesn't go there then, maybe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do I have to put it maybe one on each? Well, I'm already getting confused on the <laughs> second room of this cloister. My god, man. Okay, what if I place this sphere over there? Ah, there you go, okay. So I had to burn the glyph into the wall first. Put the sphere there. Okay, grab the glyph sphere. Place it down over there, where the glyph is. Oh, the glyph repels. Okay. <whistles> that glyph be burned anywhere else? Oh, wait, wait, do I just have to touch the glyph? Duh, stupid. 
Okay, I imagine I'm going to need both of those spheres right over here. Okay. What does this do? Okay, it brings this forward. Well, shoot, I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna place that here. I have two Kilika spheres. So I think you take the Glyph sphere and put it over there. I'm not sure, but I imagine. Maybe. Glyph sphere. Yeah. Stops the fire as well. Okay, the destruction sphere. Which is a very important sphere. Because with this, you can actually unlock special items that there's only one of per dungeon. I don't know if I put it here or what. Because there's a specific spot you have to place it in. I'm going to move around a little bit. I'm going to search for that spot where the destruction sphere goes. Hmm. I'm wondering if I need to like place the destruction sphere on the pedestal and move it back there, maybe? I'm just going to get all my spheres to a point where I am sure of where they are. I'm going to have a whole episode dedicated just to Cloister of Trials. Jeez, man. I feel like it has to do with this pedestal. I'm pretty sure that I have to place the pedestal onto the one mark on the floor back there. Oh, shoot, move it back. That's slightly to the right. Come on. Come on. There you go. We'll get this eventually. There you go. Right down the middle. Hopefully, it lets us through. No, it doesn't. Okay, it does. Woo! That was a close one. I thought I screwed myself over so hard right there, and I was very unhappy. I had no idea what I was going to do. Either A, this is actually going to do something, or B, it does nothing. B. I'm going to try every spot I can find. I don't bet it's still back here. Okay, well. Well, let's see. One and out.
Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of reading here. Okay. So actually, I'm pretty sure that what I have to. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. So what? Push the pedestal into the switch. Yep. Okay. I want to get the secrets of this place. Stop. I will go back and get Pisaid someday, except not for a long time. But I want to get this one here. Come on. <laughs> Game. There you go. Who thought it'd be so hard to push a pedestal? There you go. You gotta walk. That helps. Ah, okay. I was so confused about where the heck that thing was coming from. Because I felt like there had to be something there. I was confused about how the heck there wasn't. Yep. Easy peasy. Not that hard, I'm just being dumb. It doesn't mess with the recording at all, having me put up a page right there. Or me having a page right there. Yes, yeah, seriously, this will be one episode for Cloister Trials. Oh god, some of the later ones are going to be rough then. But I guess later ones I'll probably try to skip going for the weapons. I just wanted to show off that these things exist. I guess maybe they're not necessarily weapons, but equipment. Yeah, this is an Kamari one. Oh, okay, it's Ward of Everything. That's helpful. Kamari is going to be a lot more useful against elemental enemies then. I'll let you enjoy. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. The what consequences? She could be excommunicated. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so, what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat Sin. <gasps> I'm just keeping quiet for a bit while we go through this stuff. <laughs> there you go. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, 
somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. Sweet. Ifrit, let's go. New Aeon. That's the best part of a new temple. New Aeons. So how about we leave this place and go uh, show off that new Aeon soon? Hello! A little bit of fire down there, underneath. Wow, way to blow out your own ego. Oh, put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. Look at me, I'm popular. Whoa. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger. I was just about ready to burst. Hey, fun fact. Titus's voice actor, it's actually the same voice actor as Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. Are, are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> Well, he said he wanted to. Yes! Here we go. We gotta show off the new Aeon. Yep, units in the party, let's go. Somewhere. We'll get a fight. There you go. Okay, kind of crappy enemies to show it off on. Oh, please. No need, Lulu. Let's go. We got all the power we need here. <laughs> Enter Ifrit. Fires have done that guy, but I don't really care. It's an Aeon versus a Thunder Elemental. I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Ha! Bang! I'm serious. It's run random th Thunder Elemental versus a freaking Aeon. Now, this sucker can really deal some damage. Die! Nice. So yeah, that's how Infrit works. He's got the Meteor Strike, which is like a fire-based attack, then he has just his normal attack. And of course, his black magic is fire. Excuse you. Nice. I got two overkills right there. Very nice. You have no idea what that is. Yeah, we'll do another fight. Let's get one more fight in before we end this one off. So we have a little bit of action in this video other than just the cloister trials and a couple minutes of cutscenes. Ah, shoot! You know what? I haven't done this yet. Have I? No, I have shown off this overdrive. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Let's do it anyway. I just kind of feel like it. 
Great. Yeah. Really? Wow. <laughs> I thought she was going to kill it. Uh, I was going to laugh so hard. Fire. Ha! Very nice. Alrighty. We're going to hit the sphere grid and then we'll call it an episode. Glad to see some more ability spheres. I needed those. Magic defense. So defense and magic defense. Are exactly. Actually, no, okay. I think they look a little bit different. Magic defense is a shield, but, um, nope. Magic has a circle. I don't know what the... Oh, okay. Yeah, you can tell the difference between the magic defense and the normal defense easily. Okay, that's all of our sphere grid work. Oh, yeah, also, if you want to look at the Aeons. Look at, like, abilities and stuff. But, yeah. Look at, like, their overdrive values. Their other, like, abilities. Pretty cool. Oh, uh, is there anything else I want to do? Yeah, I can look at the map. So far, all... Actually, I guess all we can do is look at Kilika. Oh, anyway. I think we're calling an episode there. So, if you liked what you saw, then, as always, like, comment with anything you have to say, subscribe if you want to see more, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Beam, everything. As always, my name is Bungaho1, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.